Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to thepixellab.net. Uh, I got another free resource that I found that I wanted to share with you. Uh, so this one's called Spline Profile. It's kind of a little kit of uh, splines. So go ahead and download this and that'll go in your Cinema 4D library. And then if you open up your uh, browser, you can see right here, Spline Profiles 1.0. And we got a whole bunch of different splines here. So let's talk about what we can do with these guys. So we'll double click on 39, for instance, and we come up here with this spline. Let's go ahead and rotate this guy 90 degrees. And the best way to use these is with a sweep nerves. So we're gonna go ahead and make a sweep nerves. And it's basically gonna take this spline and sweep it around another spline. So we gotta create maybe a rectangle, go ahead and scale this guy up a little bit, maybe rotate it 90 degrees. Come on, Jordan, get it together. There it is. All right, so we'll take this spline, maybe shrink it a little bit. Dump both of these guys into our sweep nerves. You get kind of a garbled mess. Make sure to put the spline on top, and there we go. So you can see that really quickly, we're getting uh, kind of a cool detailed, uh, well, I guess you could use this for a picture frame. Um, you could use it for some other things like uh, crown molding on the top of a ceiling or baseboards. So that's kind of a cool thing you can do with it. And then you can go ahead and just play around with some of these other ones. Load them up, shrink them down, rotate them, go ahead and chuck them back in there. There you go, there's kind of another one. And then the cool thing is if you go to point mode, you can actually go to the original spline. And uh, you can kind of grab one of these points maybe. And then if you play around with that, you can see that we're able to uh, kind of add a little bit of interest to our uh, model, right? You can make a, uh, a the base of a column here. Lots of cool stuff you can do with this. So make sure to grab those, check them out, play around with them. You can add some nice detail to your scene really fast. All right, that's it. Really quick resource for you guys. Make sure to check out the tech pack that me and Remco put out. Um, thanks a lot for all the support on it. We've had a really good response. We're working on a couple other packs now too, so... Uh, Make sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. Thanks, guys. We'll talk again soon. Bye, everybody.